Hello guys, welcome back to Sadiq's Rabbitry and this is your boy Sadiq once again, a young and passionate rabbit farmer here in Ghana. Today's video is going to be about feeding but into details, right? So today I want to talk about feed formulation, how we can get the 18% good protein which is very very vital to rabbits as uh, in general, right? So I want us to look at some of the uh, alternatives that we can use in order to get this 80% good protein and um, classifying some importance of other alternative feeds to rabbit farmers right so today I want to talk about the chicken feed and the rabbit feed how we can um, comprise both of them to make a good formulated feed for rabbits right in order to know if you are going to omit some uh, ingredients or not right so if you are new to the channel just make sure to hit that subscribe button click that like button and just don't forget to watch this video to the end because today's video is going to be about a feed formulation so stay right there now feed formulation for commercial purpose refers to the act of determining volume of ingredients to blend to create compound feed that match the known nutrient requirement of targeted species and concentrated feed on the other hand means a combination of animal feed ingredients which the nutrition content higher than nutritional need of a livestock now what this means is that uh, in every livestock farming there are specific feed for them there are specific formulated feed that are required or that requires the uh, amount of nutrients the animals need right so for example chicken the chicken they have different types of feed right depending on the stage of our breeding right so we have the layer mash grow mash broiler starter broiler finisher and so on and so forth right so this depends on the uh, stage of breeding so as uh, rabbit too we have stages of breeding and the type of feed to be fed to the rabbit and the amount of nutrients that uh, needs to go into that space right so when i talk about um, commercial feed or concentrated feed we need to have a balanced diet feed right containing all the nutrients ingredients before giving it to the animal in order to gain the necessary um, nutrition right so um, with rabbits they have ingredients that are used for uh, formulating feed such as wheat bran pro, um, sorry premix we have coccidiostat wheat bran wheat offal salt um, vitamins and minerals Right, so all these things combined to make this a formulated feed for rabbit. That's how chicken feed too is. So with chicken, we have the maize, soya bean meal, uh, palm kennel, fish meal, premix, oxidiostat. So as you can see, it has some similarities to the rabbit feed. Unlike a broiler starter, it has different ingredients with it grower mash right so with the grower mash they have similarities with the rabbit feed they all have the wheat bran the maize the premix the amino acid which is toxin binder and lysine coccidiostat bone meal and so on and so forth right so how can we uh, make this in such a way that it can be good for both rabbits and chickens right with no side effect right so with the broiler starter uh, it has side effect on the rabbit based on the state right so with breeding um, it can affect the weight gain of the rabbit right so the rabbit will be overweight and cannot produce as much as you want right but with the grower mash if it can be formulated well then it can be good for uh, breeders right so with the broiler starter too which has um, a lot of good protein about 21 to 24% good protein, it can be good for uh, rabbits that are for slaughtering, right? Based on the amount you want to keep the rabbit. So, with the broiler starter, that's the side it can handle, right? With the grow mass too, it can be formulated, reformulated for rabbit, right? In poultry farming, there are three types of feet which are broiler starter, broiler finisher, and grow mass. Broiler starter contain 21%. Of good protein broiler finisher contains 22 to 24 percent good protein and grower mash contains 16 to 18 percent good protein now grower mash 
is at the bottom line of 18% good protein, which is essential to rabbit growth. But with broiler starter and broiler finisher containing 21 to 24 percent good protein is not high for rabbit consumption i remind you that this video is based on my research the research i made on rabbit feed and chicken feed how we can combine this together whether to decrease some of the ingredients to add up or to sum it all up to make a good feed consumption for rabbits so if you if you are not sure of anything you can just uh just check it research and know more about it and don't forget to stay right here with me to the end of this video you are going to learn a lot on feeding of rabbits how you can formulate your own feed let me take you through some of these ingredients that are used specifically for grower mash and rabbits so as you can know the similarities and know which one is better or we can combine the two for a good um, feed formulation for rabbits. So ingredients that are used to formulate grower mash include maize, soybean meal, fish meal, wheat bran, premix, lime, amino acid which is toxin binder and lysine, salt, coccidiostat and bone meal. Take note, all these ingredients will be combined in order to attain 16 to 18 percent good protein. One important in formulating this feed to chicken is to ensure fast growth and produce for egg laying. Now, if you can observe this statistic in formulating chicken feed, it can be related to rabbit feed, right? So this means that we can um, analyze these two feed together to, to make a good compound feed for the rabbit, right? Let's talk about some disadvantages of chicken feed to breeders especially. And you should be reminded that chicken and rabbit are two completely different species with that being said chicken feed should not be fed to breeders and regular feeding will likely result in weight gain and other dangerous health issues such as stones due to high content of fiber and this deals with the use of roller starter or finisher because it carries almost 24 percent of good protein I just talked about some of the ingredients that are used in chicken feed formulation, specifically grower mash. Now, rabbit feed formulation requires ingredients such as maize, palm kennel, fish meal, wheat offal, bone meal, salt, remix, coccidiostat, vitamins, and minerals. So, if you combine these two, you can see that it has many ingredients than the grower mash. So, it means that rabbit and grow mash rabbit feed and grow mash have something to do with um the, the right percentage of good protein to rabbit if you can observe this ingredient together you can see that both grow mash and rabbit feed have similarities but the ingredients for broiler and rabbit feed differs therefore broiler starter should never be recommended for rabbits especially the breeders because it can cause a lot of or high weight gain which can have some issue in production in addition grow mash cannot be hundred percent recommended to rabbit if it is given raw and if one wants to use grow mash for rabbit then the farmer will have to omit some ingredients and add up some of the ingredients as well so that it can be a compound diet for them if you all don't understand something from this video you can just go back and just write something down so that you can make the calculations yourself in order for us to to know whether grower mash and rabbit feed can be in good terms for rabbit production right so um as you can see grower mash with rabbit feed has many many similarities other than the broiler starter which i know most people are using on their farm because they want the rabbit to gain weight faster and all sort of things right it's never good for the health of the rabbit right it gains a lot of weight to the rabbit and sometimes it causes saw hawks on the legs because the weight is too much for uh, the wires right so it tends up uh, wounding the, the rabbit's legs right so i will advise you to not give broiler starter to rabbit as people are um, encouraging but you should rather go in for the grow mash and omit some of the ingredients or if you can then you can formulate your own
I told you guys this video is based on my research you can do yours at the side and check it out so that you can know whether this video has been a very helpful one to you guys and you can just comment down below how you, you think about this video how helpful it is to other people and I'll, I'll, I will not hesitate to reply to it immediately in conclusion it can be said that rabbit and chicken are two different species therefore a chicken feed cannot be fed to rabbit unless if it is reformulated under the right condition for rabbit consumption so i hope this video has been a very very helpful one for you guys and uh, i hope you enjoy it then keep on sharing the love let us all raise rabbit farming in ghana and all around africa together so if you are new to the channel just don't hesitate to subscribe smash that like button right there turn on the notification bell then youtube will notify whenever i upload a new video so until next time see you